Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the old man. That is Simon Belmont. And we are gonna try to find the last dungeon because I can't quite remember where it is. I think it's all the way to the left. Uh, um, I think. We'll find out here in a minute. <laughs> Um, so, I don't know if you're looking at the news today, but, I mean, it won't be anything, I mean, you won't see it by the time, um, by the, by the time this comes out, this'll be whatever, but, um, so apparently, some crazy's happening with, uh, GameStop stocks and all that, and, um, I don't pretend to know the stock market at all, so I can't comment on any of that, but it is funny to see these hedge fund man managers losing their marbles over it, because I, it, it just is. Um, but yeah, because GameStop's been failing, and so the stock going up is all whatever. But I can tell you why GameStop's been failing. Boy, I, I went into my local GameStop just the other day, and this guy right here can just... <clears throat> Except they don't need hearts. At least they don't need any hearts. So we're kind of good on that. Um, I went in there and... Man. I, uh, I went in there and it was like... Kind of looking like old Mother Hubbard's cupboard. Like... I mean, they they had games, I guess, and then they had some other crap on the shelves, but it was, like, really bare. And I'm just thinking to myself, yeah, this this isn't necessarily what I would want when I go to the... Oh, I guess we're going to need some laurels. Um, you know, this isn't what I want when I go to <laughs> GameStop. You know what I'd like when I go to GameStop is, um games really i but it seems like there's games and there's only like the newest games for the newest system and uh let's put that back on and then put that back on and the morning has come um games for the newest systems and then like books a million stuff barnes and noble shirts and action figures and yeah here it is right here What's over here? I can't remember. Another thing. We're not going to worry about that. I think we can get free laurels down here, so we're definitely going to do that. How is it daytime and those skeletons take two flippin' things? That's not fair. Um, so there's, uh, you know, action figures and stuff, but there's not games, and I just... Oh. Like, you know, you know what I would like? Games in GameStop. That, I mean, it's there in the name, you think, right? Um, but I can tell you why <laughs> GameStop, like, why that happens. And it's because, um, when a, when a company becomes publicly traded, what happens is the, the, um, customers are no longer the customers. Oh, the customer and the the employees don't mean anything now. They're just they're just a controllable expense, is what they're referred to as. Um, <clears throat> the customers aren't the customers anymore. Who are the customers? Are the shareholders and investors? And so everybody's mission in that company becomes not just do well at selling uh, video games like you know you would want to. Their mission become... Hey, get over here. Their mission becomes make that stock price go up. That's it. That's all they care about. That's all they're going to do. Um, do I have a stake? Do I get... I got to buy one. So I got to find the tool that sells stakes. Um, and here's this guy that gives me free laurels. So... <clears throat> They a bunch and these people that run these companies aren't um, gamers at all. Like don't, don't nobody that's in the upper echelon of GameStop is a gamer. So they don't know what gamers need. They don't care. They just have uh, you know business degrees and they look at charts and graphs all day and they go, oh well, um, you know I need this son of a gun. 
I need this. Do I have 50? Okay, I've got plenty. Um, <clears throat> I, we need these numbers to go do this thing. And so then that's their whole mission. And they come up with all these dumb ideas that typically don't work because nobody cares about that. Um, and they don't understand that nobody cares about I think the boss is here, yeah. <clears throat> if for some reason she gives you the cross, and I guess you need that to get to Castlevania, but I don't really understand. I don't really understand that. So anyway. <laughs> so they come up with these ideas, and then if they they don't work, then they blame it on the comp they don't blame it on the oh this is a dumb idea, they blame it on the the workers. And so you've got a bunch of people at GameStop who don't care. They just want to see stock prices go up and they have terrible ideas. And they won't listen to the people on the ground because they don't think those people know anything, even though typically those people are actually gamers that play games. Um, so yeah, that, that's, that's why you go into GameStop now and you don't see games, even though, like, if I was going into GameStop, you know, I would like to see games from all different, um, from different eras and different, wow, that is not very, I didn't have to go very far for that at all. Um, <clears throat> from all different eras and, you know, different things and that's, I mean, you want to go into GameStop, you want to see games, so... But, that, I mean, that's when I used to work the parts store, that's exact, that was the same mindset. The people that, that were in the leadership of the parts store weren't car guys. They didn't, you know, own, I mean, they might have owned cars, but they weren't like parts guys that whatever. So all their ideas were just all about getting that stock price to go up. And they wouldn't listen to any of us on the ground, of course, because we didn't know anything. But when one of their harebrained schemes didn't work, um... Then whose fault was that? Of course, it was our fault. <clears throat> and then even at where I worked, they like they didn't even give time for the idea to work half the time. Like they, <laughs> it was like if it didn't produce results. Oh, I should have jumped there. Um, if it didn't produce results that week or month or quarter or whatever. They were done with that idea, and then they just kind of forgot about it, and then they had a totally different idea. And whenever they enact these ideas, they act like it's the most urgent thing on the planet until it doesn't work anymore, and then they act like it's the dumb... They... No, it's just... Uh, they, it's almost like they forget they had that idea in the first place. Uh, so, yeah. So that's why GameStop's failing. <laughs> and that's the thing, is... is the, the problem is that most of these, the retail places, it's not the people on the ground working the job. It's, it's all the corporation. The corporation screws it up in their attempt to always uh, have the stock go up. But the problem is, the stock can't always go up. <laughs> Things can't always go up. That's, it's just life. I mean, it, and it you know, it's the same with profits or anything. If you've ever edited a story, which I have because I've written a few, you know that at some point you've, you've written enough and you've edited enough that there isn't anything left to do with that story. Um, you're, you're done with that story, essentially. You, you know, you, um, really? <laughs> Scroll up screen so I can do what I'm doing. All you're doing is just moving words around at some point, and they don't realize that, you know, things can't always go up. They just can't. You're just moving around chairs is all you're doing. But, again, they won't listen to you because you can always do something. Well, maybe. Mostly, uh, you know. They definitely don't listen to you, though. So, <clears throat> yep, having fun watching the Watching the old stock guys get all offended about what's going on. Because, <sighs> make no mistake, those hedge fund guys that are losing all this money, they're not going to be, like, out on the street or anything. You know? Like, 
they're not gonna suddenly um, lose their job. I mean, they they might lose a hedge fund, but they're not gonna they're not they're never gonna be out on the street. They're not gonna be hungry. They're not gonna have to worry about where they're getting toilet paper uh, that particular day. That it you know. <clears throat> Oh, do I need some garlic, or is the guy just here? Because there's a diamond here. And I don't care if I don't have it. I'm not I'm not going to actually go and get it, because the diamond is pretty worthless. Oh, no, this is... Yeah, we don't want to go here. That just loops back around. <clears throat> so I'm not that. We can, we can actually go straight to... Uh, we can go straight to... What's it called? Um, Dracula and just beat the game. Should we do that or should we do that on the next video? I don't know how long it's been because I haven't been keeping track. <laughs> um, I haven't kept track of the time. Though six videos, that would probably be enough, right? Extra and you can do an extra long finale. Maybe we'll do that. Um, yeah, so those guys that, you know, you, you can you can worry about them if you want to, but they're going to be fine. <laughs> they're going to be fine. And then as soon as the politicians get involved, they'll make all that illegal and then they'll be safe again. So, um, am I out of moral already? Wow, that was quick. <clears throat> so don't worry about those guys. They'll be fine. Hey, I don't need the... Uh... Thanks for spawning me right on that flame guy. I appreciate that. So, yeah, and I, I got really bitter working retail for so long because so little of it makes any sense. Um, it just, especially where I worked, it seemed like, and I worked at a parts store, and it seemed like their goal was, like, a certain thing They said that they'd set out, and they're like, this is the goal we want to reach. And then they wouldn't do, they would enact policies that, like, Ne always hindered us from reaching the goal we were supposed to be getting. And so you'd sit there and go, well, I mean, we can't, you know, we if, if you want this to happen, then we're going to need this. And they'd always be like, well, no, you, you have to use the tools at your disposal. Blah, blah, blah. Which to me always made about as much sense as if they would have told us to uh, build a bookshelf and just told us, you know, we have shoes, use that as a hammer, and then taped our fingers together. And then when we we're like, you know, if you want us to build a good bookshelf, we're we're going to need um, a hammer and some nails. <laughs> and they just go, no, you have to use what you have. You can't have any tools to do your job correctly. And so that that's what we heard all the time. So like things like we didn't ever make a commission which was kind of crappy because we got accused of collecting a commission all the time. They're like, you just want to sell this to get commission. And I was, I was straight up told them, I don't get commission. Um, which, again, if, you're, if you have a, a job that you want people to sell, why I, not having a commissioner or... Uh, we, I had, uh, by the time I left, I had a bonus that I could do. Um... But it was so... The, by the time I left, the bonus was so high, I was never going to get it. Like, you couldn't... It was jacked up so high that I was never going to get a bonus. Um, I thought this was the last town, but I know the last town doesn't have a church in it. So, we will journey on. <clears throat> Maybe that is the last I don't know. Anyway. So, yeah, it was just, it was just kind of crazy and stupid and... Yep, you jumped down there, my friend. And it always seemed like district managers at retail stores are, like, they all take the same uh, stupid class. Like, because no matter what business they're in, they all sound the same. And they all do the same. And they all focus on exactly the wrong things all the time. Like, you know, you're, you're understaffed and you're all overworked and they're like, hmm, this... This thing is out of the, you know, this this thing is not uh, in the right position or whatever. And you're like, well, I mean, okay, but 
like, um, <laughs> you know, could we have some staff in here? No. Can we have some more hours? No. But you need to hire more people. That's one of the things that killed me, is, is we'd be told we didn't have enough... We, we needed to hire more people, but we didn't hardly have any hours to give the people that we'd hired. I don't think... I think we want to go down here, because over all the way to the right is where the invisible staircase is that has no purpose. So we're gonna... I think it's down here. Um, yeah, so, so we'd like... People would be getting... There'd be some, some kids, the college kids, getting like five hours a week. And we got told, hey, you need to hire some more people. And they're like, but we don't have hours to give the people we have. Why are we hiring more people? And, uh... Just, if you ever wonder why the customer service is so bad in a particular uh, store or a company or a chain... By and large, it's because they just, uh, the company has just decided that they're not going to invest in their people. And you get what you pay for. Which is why we, you know, would be nice to raise the minimum wage. And then you say, everything's going to cost more, but everything already costs more. I can't get a meal at McDonald's for less than five, for more than, you know, five dollars anymore. That, those days are over. And they ain't paying those people nothing. So, do I not have my... Okay. Oh, wow, we're at the end. This is Castlevania. <clears throat> I, I'm, I reckon if you don't have all the things, you can't open those, uh, dissolve those blocks. And this is, I think... <clears throat> It's kind of cool that Castlevania is just like now this empty shell of a place. Um, but also kind of like anticlimactic as well, especially the boss battle. You'll see it's like super anticlimactic. Climactic? Clim climac clim you, you know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about. And before you ask, no, I would not be mad if a burger flipper or a McDonald's person made $15 an hour. And you want to know why? Because I've worked retail and they don't want, it's not, they're not getting $15 an hour for just flipping burgers or pushing buttons. They're getting it to deal with your entitled rear end and getting screamed at all day about why did you put pickles on my burger? And why did you do this? Why did you do that? And then dealing with the management on top of that. That's why they want more money. And also, there's no such thing as unskilled labor. <laughs> and do you want to know how I know this little factoid? Because I worked in construction for like a couple of months. And um, the, in what would be qualified, quote unquote, unskilled labor. But as it turns out, you really do need skills to be... <laughs> Uh, uh, in construction, there's lots of skills you need that I did not have. Um, and now we're just gonna burn Dracula with the fire. I guess if you let him do his thing, he's dangerous, but I don't think I have ever have ever in my life let him do anything. So yeah, it, it takes a lot of skill. And you know what? To be a, a burger flipper and a... Um, a customer service person it you need a lot of de-escalation you need there's a lot of skills you need anyway so we beat we beat it we we beat it and i think if i remember right the endings got switched like there's the best ending and then there's like a medium ending and a and a and it depends on the colors like i think this is the medium ending I'm honestly not sure. Um, but, like, the the one that takes you the most time is actually the best ending, and the one that takes you the least is actually the worst, because they got flipped. But Simon actually died. Apparently. Which is weird, because he's... This might must be got switched, because he's, uh... He's literally standing there in front of Dracula's grave. Um... So, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know how he died if he's right there. <clears throat> and, but the text says that he died. 
I remember this was this was so much fun to play in the day, especially and some of it because there was so much kind of mystery about it and because it was kind of opaque. It was kind of fun to find things. Like I told I didn't show it off, but I should have, but I didn't. There's like an invisible staircase um where you go down where we go down the staircase to the last uh, little run there towards Castlevania and um <clears throat> Is that it? Oh, yep, that's it. And and there's no reason for it. There's no purpose for it. So that was uh, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sticking around. If you actually listen to my rants, I know that I, a lot of people probably aren't going to like them, and that's okay. But I'll see you next time. I'd like to do start doing these like every season, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I always say that, and then it's forever till I do a new one. So I'll see you next time.